He's been called the Sultan of Sleaze and the Pope of Trash, but filmmaker and pop culture figurehead John Waters wouldn't have it any other way. So many titles, so little time. Making underground movies in the 60s and 70s that have to be seen to be believed. I hate you, I hate you, I hate Christmas! <laughs> it was Hairspray in 1988 that got John mainstream attention, which inspired the musical and film remake. Along with making films, John has written books, dabbled in some acting, become a Simpsons character... Well, I could wrap a bow around you and slap on a price tag. ..and taken his one-man show, This Filthy World, on tour. All young people need somebody bad to look up to, and I hope I can be that for you tonight. Okay. Sort of a filth elder, if you will. Clearly, the world hasn't cleaned up its act, as John has returned for part two, observing all the wonderful trashy things that make the world go round. Please welcome John Waters! <laughs> Great to have you back. It's been a couple of years since you were here. Yeah. But I've, I've, in, the, in that time, you've done something amazing. You hitchhiked across America. I did by myself at Why? 67 years old because my life was too orderly. It was too in control. It was too scheduled. Give up everything and see what happens. I, I, I really think you should try it. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> wow, really? it's it, yeah, or, I liked it. Or did your car break down and you couldn't be bothered fixing it? <laughs> no, 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 no. My car, I mean, I've hitchhiked when I was young all the time yeah. in the hippie years, but then, but then I thought, what would it be like now to see, you know, to just actually do it? And the problem was it rained all the time, so I would be standing there in the <laughs> pouring rain. But I really did almost spend the night it's in the cause, woods. Cause in Australia, people would, are very cautious about uh, hitchhiking because, you know, there are some bad stories connected to hitchhiking. Well, Is it, was it frightening for you? No, it was never frightening. Never. It's frightening to stay home and never go out. Yeah. <laughs> so, so to me, wow. it was like the people that picked me up were really good people. They, they, they yeah. were great. The problem was, was sitting there and for 10 hours when nobody picks you up. And you repeat right. to yourself, it only takes one ride. <laughs> and I almost had to spend the night in the woods one night. But um, And I right. would have. I thought it would have been good for the book. But a trucker gave me a ride, a cop, you know. Now, did they? I would love to pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> women, women pick me up. Right. Women pick me up. But here's the thing. How many people do you reckon picked you up because they recognise you as John Waters? A lot yeah. or none? Or... Well, I'd say a third drove past me and then thought, well, was that John Waters? But why would he be standing on an entrance <laughs> ramp in Kansas? <laughs> And then they come back and get me. Right. The other third thought I was homeless. Most people thought I was really? homeless. And I had a sign, and people come over and say, Sir, take this money. And then they're, Oh my God, it's Joe Waters. Yeah. And, right. and the other third, I'd get in the car, and they wouldn't say anything. I said, I'm a film director. And they'd go, Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I just said I was Napoleon. Right. Right. So you had all different reactions. Now, you're wow. back here performing um, This Filthy World, yeah. world 2. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so, so is it because as you hitchhiked along the road, you, you thought, oh, there's so much more I need to talk about? No, there's new filth. You know, and I use mm. the word filth with respect. Really, filth to me is like what's extreme in culture. And, and so I'm always looking for that. You look for that. But is it show. harder now? It seems like with, with the internet, there's Family. like... The limit's been pushed. We've seen, you yeah. know, I, I always think we've seen everything that we're going to yeah, see. Yeah, but is it funny? Is it witty? You use humour and you use shock to get people's attention so you can maybe change their mind. If you make someone laugh, they'll listen. So mm. I, I, I don't, I'm just not trying to shock people. That's easy to do, you know? And actually, Hollywood does that all the time. They make $50 million bad taste movies that aren't funny to me. Mm. So, how is the sequel to Hairspray coming? We're all huge fans, of course. Well, I've written three. I mean, Hairspray is the gift that keeps on giving, believe me, because I did one sequel to both called White Lipstick That Never Happened. Then they asked me to write a TV series that hasn't happened yet. I want to do it on ice when it's all fat girls on skate. <laughs> <laughs> so, were, were you a fan, just quickly, were you a fan of the musical interpretation of it? I was, because they reinvented it a second time. John Travolta played it like he was a Playboy bunny that got fat. Which <laughs> Was, which was very different than how Divine played it or how Harvey played it on Broadway. And each time it got reinvented, it worked. If you make it the same another time, it won't work. You just mentioned mm. that you, you come up with things and you write them and they, and they get made or they don't get made. Does yeah. that frustrate you? Does that drive you mad that you have to wait for other people to... Well, it it does, when you write a book, it doesn't. You don't have to wait for anybody. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so I like writing a book because I can't blame it on anybody. I just have to sit down and do the work. But I write, I think up movies, it's the same thing. So, yeah, it's frustrating. It's called development hell. I, I had this one movie called Fruitcake, which is a terribly wonderful children's Christmas adventure about a family of functional meat thieves. And <laughs> That didn't get made yet, but I'm really? trying. It's I'm a, trying. It yeah. is a matter of time, surely. Yeah. The book is coming out next year, but in the meantime, tickets to uh, Filthy World Volume 2 are available.